we need to talk. There is a big need, in my opinion, to talk about this recent very popular trend about people leaving the luxury, stopping shopping, going on a shopping rehab, realizing how bad it is, how they were brainwashed, how toxic it is, how the luxury brands, how YouTubers, influencers are pushing it on you and you have been buying and that has been the biggest mistake on you, of your life. I think we need to talk about it and I feel actually obligated to defend all of us, luxury and fashion lovers, we have the right to shop and enjoy it. I was preparing to make actually another video uh, today. I was doing my makeup and I started watching some YouTube video and it happened to be Amelia's uh, clothed video and she was replying or kind of replying to this trend, I would say. Uh, and there is also Jess's video, which I actually watched after that. And they referred to a couple of YouTubers that recently talked about selling everything and awakening. It's a nice term. Awakening from luxury shopping. Uh, and okay, they have awakened, good for them. Uh, but there is a problem which Emilia mentioned and which I totally agree. Whenever you hear about that, they will talk about that this is something toxic, this is something bad. And it kind of makes the viewer thinking like, okay, this is not a good thing. This is something to be kind of ashamed of. This is something that you are being brainwashed, trying to catch up with the Joneses. You are trying to be somebody else. And it kind of means there that there is something wrong with you, that you are not confident enough, that you are trying to catch up with something that you are not uh, and you don't need that and well maybe some people don't and maybe some people realize but it's not everybody anyone who has realized that they have been doing shopping and fashion and buying handbags collecting them for all the wrong reasons well totally okay for them but they should not imply on other people that this is wrong because not everyone is actually doing shopping for the wrong reasons. Some people actually truly enjoy it. I am one of them. I enjoy shopping and honestly I prefer to buy another handbag over so many things. You know what? I don't drive a fancy car. I drive a, you know, I would say crap car, but it's not a crap in a, in a sense of uh, performance. A well performing car, Japanese car, old car. It drives me from A to B. I don't have to have 3D camera on back, front and center because you know what? I can park. I don't need a Tesla to show off all my neighbors how well I'm doing, but that Tesla is on full loan and I'm living in a studio, rented studio. A lot of those people that have awakened, I don't watch. From those people that have uh, quit the luxury shopping, I only watch, I think, Caitlyn. And she seemed to realize that shopping was uh, not the answer and it was not what she was doing for the passion of uh, shopping and fashion, uh, but for some other reasons. And if this happens for people, it's totally okay. And I totally understand that it can happen also for people that they just change their priorities in a way, in a natural way. Uh, so for example, somebody, I don't know, started a family and they have uh, kids now. It might be that they are focused on some different things and uh, it kind of fades away that luxury shopping or, or handbag collections. Uh, that's one of the cases that I might think about it. Uh, some other things, uh, I don't know, some other life changes, some career changes. I don't know, sometimes you might lose interest. You might kind of grow out of this phase uh, because life goes through phases. Uh, but I don't think anyone should talk about it in this negative way or way that implies it's a negative thing. Because by itself, shopping and fashion and luxury handbags are not a bad thing. You know, everything is, you know, as good or as bad as people actually use it. You can use fire to warm the house and you can use fire to burn somebody's house. It's a kind of extreme example. But, you know, shopping is there. You can go and enjoy it or you can actually treat your other problems, treat in this kind of temporary way just by providing some uh, dopamine. You can try to validate yourself by shopping, which is a total nonsense. You should not do that. I think that happens, or I kind of understand that it's a uh, thing that it's relatively normal to validate yourself by shopping when you are very young. Because when you are very young, your character is not developed. You, you are working on your personality. You are figuring out, figuring out 
what you like, what you don't like, what is the, what are your passions and um, young people they want to be part of the tribe also because they are more also susceptible to criticism, they want to fit in and it's a phase of life through which many people or majority of young people go in way one way or the other and for young ladies shopping and fashion it's kind of understandable because it's you know our design to want to look good but if a 30 years old woman is telling you that shopping is not the answer that's weird to me i am 37 myself and i can tell you that my shopping is not because i try to fit in Actually, my shopping is the old thing for the country, for the society that I, that I live in, for the profession that I am in. My dress up style, my love for fashion is the old thing. I am the old one. Fashion is not for everyone. Fashion and shopping is not for everyone to the level of being a hobby. Because yes, it can be a hobby. Why not? I want to tell you, if you are having even excessive collection of clothing or handbags, do not feel guilty. Do not feel like you should sell it off. If you don't feel like, don't sell it. Because it's totally okay. It's totally fine to have excessive amount of stuff if you feel that you like it. I personally never feel guilty about shopping. I never feel guilty of, about owning so much stuff do i need it no do i wear it also no if you really want to understand about you know that fashion can be your passion your hobby i would say go and watch Ta uh, tamara kalinik she's a proper fashion lover i mean she made a career out of it she's a very successful businesswoman she's buying luxury handbags all the time right and she's never selling them she's of course she can afford to buy all of them she doesn't have to sell them but you know she's not flipping things one after another she is just really enjoying them another person that just enjoys fashion for example kathy trop like she also made a career out of it and she, her mom is also a you know fashion passionate person who's been collecting chanel especially so there are people who just basically really truly love it and enjoy it they have a passion for dressing for putting things together they have a passion for those beautiful designs of the handbag and they pay attention to how they look that's a pleasure and fun to actually assemble an outfit together i really enjoy putting outfits together i have like basically clothes hanging there over one of the doors of my uh wardrobe and i have like you pieces that at some moments i was like oh this and this will look good together so i just kind of hang them together and i have some you know idea for later i put my handbags on the display why because i actually enjoy looking at them i'm sitting on this chair here and uh, you don't know that and you don't see that but my handbags are, are over there and there is actually this light here which let me turn it on here if i put it like this here my crystal bags are shining like crazy this is my observatory point so i'm actually sitting here sipping my coffee and watching my treasures i don't collect those handbags because i think i have to use them i have to make this you know cost per wear or whatever that that's a really foreign term for me i buy them because i like them and i enjoy the fact of owning them so that's one of the reasons why i never sell them because i buy them just for it's a collector thing there are people who have been you know enjoying it for so many years uh, so maybe you should like watch some of those people and their reasons and if they have made a response to this trend and kind of think for yourself what is your reason and if you are enjoying it if you still enjoy that uh, and don't rush to selling everything don't rush and don't feel that you should be doing what these people are doing because for one reason or the other these people have changed their habits their shopping habits they have changed their lifestyle for somehow or they came to some realizations that it's not necessarily a realization that you have and you maybe wouldn't have it if you wouldn't watch those people maybe it's not something for you and there's nothing bad in it as long as you enjoy it jesse made a good point that if you sell your handbags it might be a big mistake in the future like you might regret it and it's even more a painful mistake if you regret it for example if you have chanel classic flaps five of them 
and you just sell uh, all of them and then you realize that actually you want them back um, kind of painful to buy a new one so cool down before you sell something because it's getting more and more expensive and it can be actually kind of costly mistake if you realize that you want to have those bags that that was something that you were influenced to do because people were quitting uh, handbag collecting there is a good you know reason for that trend to happen now in the current economy because those influencers and uh, majority of those people i actually don't know that well uh, but i suppose if they are a bigger channel and they are maybe living off you know being an influencer maybe it's a strategic move for them to appear as more relatable because you know some influencers need to be relatable because when the influencer is so high up there uh, there is some kind of disconnection between them and their audience like a celebrity uh, and the audience or the fans there is this kind of thing in that you know influencer marketing that's a good thing if your followers are feeling like they are your friends like they're on similar level and they can relate to you uh, so it could be actually that people because now many of us cannot afford to buy uh, luxury handbags or at least cannot buy so many of them as we used to uh, and it has to do with the economy it has to do with the uh, prices which has gone through the roof and it also has to do with the fact that we have also shifted our priorities after covid during covid people were buying because there was nothing else to do with your money and nothing else to do with your time after covid people shifted their priorities some of them just saying that i have just different priorities now i want to travel the world and i watch some influencers uh, like this too i mean i don't watch actually so many of them regularly because honestly i don't have time uh, but for example sophie saw is one of those and she's just saying like i don't shop as much anymore because i just feel that the prices are too high and i want to put my money into something else for example travel and that's totally okay i'm also honestly telling you i not that i don't, don't want i cannot shop those luxury handbags anymore because i got a house and that was my decision to put myself into this and i just cannot afford to buy them not only because of the prices i cannot go in that speed that i was going <laughs> not even close to that so i'm just honestly telling you i am on a kind of forced pause i'm thinking about getting some extra job during summer to be able to buy a handbag that's how much i like it and i'm not going to give up on it i might stop for a while i am at pause because there are some different things different priorities there is a hectic time of your life whatever else one of the reasons why i want to talk about this topic is because apparently there is a lot of people that are influenced by those trends and uh, i am not as much influenced i am actually a person that is quite um, i think i am quite individual and i grew up with uh, being the old one uh in many ways and it's actually kind of funny because i was the old one who was interested in makeup i was the even though like my uh female like girlfriends uh they would put makeup but they didn't have passion for it i had passion passion for doing makeup since i was i don't know 12. i would put nail polish and you know I, there was a joke of my uh roommates in my at university that they knew that i was studying because my nails were done because what i would be doing i would be studying i would be looking my notes and like remembering and then doing my nails and repeating this thing you know what i was learning and i was just making some decorations on my nails and then repeating the material uh, so it went to that point that my friend was saying like oh i saw that you are studying last night because your nails are done in the morning so this is how much interest I had uh, in the kind of girly stuff. Of course, I am influenced, like I said, like I bought this uh, Pouchette Matisse uh, with a rainbow effect because it was completely influenced. So I might be, of course, influenced to buy another handbag, but I am not really easily influenced about life choices and life decisions. Uh, I'm personally actually uh, making some um, uncommon life choices uh, in some uh, matters um, and I got used to that that I do my thing. Nobody has to actually speak up for us and say like no not everybody who is shopping has a shopping problem or is actually shopping for showing off. There are some people who just truly enjoy fashion and talk about it on the uh, on social media and there are 
people who are influenced by those topics so if so many people talk this is what's bad this was waste of money i was doing it because i felt like this i felt like i had to because i was watching social media and whatever reasons they are giving it is kind of shaming of the shoppers and you know there's nothing wrong in shopping and not everyone who is shopping has a shopping problem not everyone who is drinking alcohol has a drinking problem right and we should not pull all this and that like, kind of demonize it i feel like uh, we people who are actually passionate about fashion should speak up and kind of uh, defend our hobby funny <laughs> funny that we have to defend our hobby uh, but it's really annoying to me that it is so scrutinized and there are so many other things which are not. It's time to finish this rant because I think it's really the kind of rant. Uh, but I just want to defend us uh, shopping and fashion lovers that we are not doing anything wrong. I just repeat it again and again that if you do it for the good reasons, if you know that this is something that you truly enjoy, you should never feel bad about it. You should never question yourself. I think the only thing you should check with yourself what are the reasons you are shopping the why uh, if you do it for some catching up with the you know trends the, the trends on social media not ju just the fashion trends itself uh, if you are doing it to show off if you are doing to validate yourself you should never validate yourself by shopping that should be just a hobby just a joy in life and don't forget that life is actually short and life is unexpected also uh, and if you can enjoy shopping freely now, do it. Because honestly, you don't know what happens tomorrow. And God forbid something really bad happens that you won't be even in the mental space to look at the clothes. Uh, because it can happen. I don't want to finish this video in this kind of, you know, dark uh, manner. But, you know, life is to be enjoyed and life is to be lived. And life is precious and unexpected things can happen uh, so while you can just have fun and joy of buying another handbag do it because it's not guaranteed that in a year from now in a week from now even that handbag will give you joy so just enjoy the things that makes you happy if it's buying another handbag do it if it's going to dance do it if it's traveling do it as long as it makes you happy and you have means to do this because i'm not encouraging you to be you know reckless with your finances but i'm encouraging you to do whatever makes you happy and to actually work on yourself to know what makes you happy because that's the key point i will leave you with this very deep message at the end of that video i hope you enjoy and please feel free to share your thoughts uh, with me in the comments and i will see you in my next video bye